just got back from another one of our excursions uh, delivering beer throughout the Bay Area. We did about 125 miles today of straight veg oil. And when diesel is costing over $4 a gallon, uh, you can imagine what, what a, quite a bit of savings that is. We're getting about 12 to 13 miles to the gallon using the um, veg oil that, uh, as our alternative fuel. And the vehicle, we've had it going for a little over a year now. It is uh, middle of April 2008 and we've gone over about 9,000 miles uh, of straight uh, veg oil so far. So if you do the math there, we've saved uh, a considerable amount of money, uh, close to $3,000. Um, and not to mention, um, we are reducing our uh, need for fossil fuels. And the conversion uh, was put together by Jeffrey Krupp over here, our Chief of Sustainability. And Jeffrey, why don't you go through now and explain how the conversion actually works. All right, be happy to. Uh, first of all, as far as economics go, we're, we're luckily not even paying anyone as we used to pay somebody to pick up our used fuel, our used fire grease. Now we're putting it right into our vehicle as fuel. And um, to start off, the difference between what we're doing here, we've converted our vehicle to run on our used fire grease rather than biodiesel, which is a very popular term right now. They're converting the vegetable oil into a fuel without modifying the engine. So through a series of heat exchangers, filters, pumps, and uh, subtle other modifications, gauges, and other uh, bling bling, we have, we have been able to turn this fantastic vehicle into an even more fantastic vehicle, and that is our mothership. Now it all begins with the two tanks that came out of the factory. The rear tank is larger, so we turn that into our vegetable oil tank. It begins with a, a sticky heat pad that is electrically controlled by the driver up on the center console in his cabin there. Within hand's reach, he's able to flip on the pad, begin the heating of the rear tank, and uh, it starts the engine on the conventional fuel tank. Then the engine, as it heats up on the conventional fuel, it is delivering this heat, transferring this heat into our vegetable oil fuel. And when we are up to a uh, proper temperature, it flips the switch. We're now running on the vegetable oil tank. So Jeff, would you say that uh, the key to using the waste vegetable oil is temperature? It's all about getting getting up to the, uh, the proper temperature above 180 degrees to use as a combustible fuel? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, heating and filtering are the only two things that we really need to do to make this a viable fuel. When Rudolf Diesel invented the diesel engine in the 1890s, he intended it for to be run on pure vegetable oil. Now what's happened since then has been modifications from the petroleum industry to run it on a petroleum based fuel. What we need to do is basically to convince this engine that we haven't done anything. And that means we filter the oil, filter of any particles and any water droplets that might be infused in there, and we filter it down to the 10 microns that the engine expects its fuel to be, to be filtered to. So from the vegetable oil tank, from the heated vegetable oil tank, our fuel is lifted through our performance fuel pump, which separates any air, then runs the vegetable oil fuel through this first heat exchanger. Now, as the vegetable oil fuel heats up, it is then pushed into our filter, 10 micron filter, which removes any, any tiny particles, any water droplets, anything that could do any damage to our engine. Then when it's a completely perfect viable fuel, we send it up into the engine where it enters our, the second heat exchanger before it finally enters into the injectors and we're happy riding. This is the front heat exchanger just before our vegetable oil fuel goes into the injectors. Uh, we want it to be as hot as, as the engine itself. So we have our engine coolant running or radiator fluid running through here again, a series of um, interchanging pipes that allows the heat to transfer without the fluids to exchange. Then attached to this we have our pressure gauge and the temperature gauge allow the driver to ensure that we are up to proper temperature and then all systems are go on the pump. This gauge will show that our, our vegetable oil fuel is up to proper temperature, which is around 200, the operating temperature of the engine. This gauge is going to tell us that our fuel pressure is proper. 15 PSI is what the engine wants. All of the uh, switches are at easy hands reach from where he sits and as well as the readouts on the system. How many bands have you converted? Uh, how many vehicles? Probably close to a dozen, but they were all Benzes. This is the uh -huh. only uh, this is the only van, American uh, Ford van that we did. A little bit different, but uh, took a, lo a little more research to to um, adjust to this style of engine. But 
man, we pulled it off. And yeah, and then there's a power inverter in here, and it's got the oxygen vacuum stuff there, and uh, a couple radios. Yeah, we, we made it a point to, uh, in some ways, over-engineer the system. Um, why not? And uh, we had all, you know, all the suspension was checked out, so we know it can carry the kegs and can can handle the load.